You know, I'll let Dr. Hightower um, talk a little bit about that too from the local perspective, but I will tell you, we're doing the same thing we did last year. We're trusting the local school systems, the local boards to work with their parents, work with their administration and make good decisions for each individual school. We talked about that a little bit at the round table this morning. Every school's different. There are different neighborhoods and different counties. You know, they're rural, they're suburban, they're urban. And, you know, I for one have been for the most part when I could be a local control governor when it comes to education. Um, you know, we don't always agree on everything and that's fine, but for us to have collaboration and to work with our schools, we got the same policy this year we had last year and we had a dang good year last year despite what we have been through. So even with the rising cases that we have seen, um, I'm confident our schools can make decisions at the local level, working with these community leaders that are all at the table right here in front of us right now to do that. I think the good news front is that our vaccinations have gone up 66% since our case count started rising. I think people that haven't been vaccinated are realizing the Delta variant spreads more rapidly and they're looking into getting vaccinated. Uh, you know, I've said this before, but there's been a lot of mixed messages coming out of the White House, you know, telling people to get vaccinated, take your mask off, now saying you have to mask again, have the National Institute of Health telling parents that they need to mask up at home with their kids if they haven't been vaccinated. I mean, to Georgians that have been dealing with this for 18 months, that's just really condescending, in my opinion. Um, people are educated about the COVID-19 virus. They're becoming more educated um, about the vaccines. You know, it is a medical miracle, Operation Warp Speed. Marty and the girls and I are all vaccinated. I'm glad that I am. But at this point, there's just not a lot of trust with the government. The vaccine is still under emergency authorization. Uh, I have requested them to go ahead and give it the full approval. We should be at that point. I think there's a lot of people, they say three in 10 that won't take the vaccine because of that. And I think it's past time to turn that authorization loose. Uh, but we're continuing to do our part to make the vaccine available. Dr. Toomey and her team, I got an update a few days ago about what they're doing at the local level to continue to go and get folks that want the vaccine that may have a hard time getting access to it. But we'll support the schools, we'll support local communities, the mayor, the, the chairman um, on any vaccination efforts that they got. But people just have to, you know, I've been telling people, talk to your doctor, talk to your local pharmacist, talk to people you know that have been vaccinated, your faith leader or other people that you have trust in and talk to them about that and just make a good health decision. Because the facts are this, regardless of what you think of anything you've seen on the internet, in talking with our hospital CEOs all over the state, 85 to 95% of the people in our Georgia hospitals with COVID have not been vaccinated. So those that have been vaccinated, it is keeping them from having a bad health experience if they happen to contract the Delta variant or, or get COVID. 